He's driving straight and literally licked the side mirror into a coach, guys. Yeah, the side mirror I clipped it. Yeah, it flew off. Oh, cut. Hi guys, welcome back to the Black and Yellow channel. I am V. And I'm Markel. And today we're going to share with you our American experience. So we went there late last year um, for both of our birthday actually, because the older we're getting, we're like, let's forget about the materials, let's forget about the gifts and just, you know, spend our money or our presents on actually going somewhere, flying somewhere and building up those memories together. Obviously, you guys, this year it's different because we can't fly anywhere. That's why Marco went all out with my gifts and all of that. But yeah. But obviously TV gassed us up in it. We wanted to live the great American dream. We wanted to go from rags to riches. That's why we <laughs> chose America as our destination. So we went to five states. We went to New York, four, four states, yeah. my bad. Um, New York, San Francisco, LA, and Las Vegas. So we landed in New York, guys, in the evening, and straight away the vibe I got from New York was it was exactly like London. Mm. Uh, very busy, a lot happening, a lot of cars, a lot of traffic. It's basically a concrete jungle. Yeah. Um, anyone that's been to London knows is exactly the same you could be stuck in the same street in traffic for about 40 minutes yeah. and not move anywhere it took us about an hour and a half to get from the airport back to our hotel yeah. in Times Square yeah. yeah I think what made it worse is because we stayed in the middle of Times Square so then it was just like the the traffic and the busyness and everything just got highlighted much more um, for me personally, I didn't like New York at all. Mm. It was too cold. The portion size of food was too big, which Markel loved, but yeah. yeah, man, guys, anyone that knows me, this is why I find myself in the overweight predicament quite a lot because I love a food and I love America for that. I love America's variety. I do agree though, as even though I love to eat, the portion sizes were Massive. insane. Like the, the pizza slices, in New York, the width was probably about three of our pieces. Like, it's crazy. No, but this is how deep it is as well. Like, you wouldn't buy a whole pizza as we would over here. You buy a slice Slices. of pizza. Yeah. So it's just like, that's how big it freaking is. Like, yeah, no, it's crazy. It's, too much. it's crazy. No, it was. It yeah. was. Um, so, yeah, what do we do in New York briefly before we move on? Um, we was rarely just going around to a lot of the historical sites. Mm. Um, the tour buses were taking us to, like, Harlem, um, Brooklyn, places like that. And it was just basically telling us, like, what are these neighbourhoods? How did they start? Yeah. Etc. you know. We yeah. went on a boat ride around um, the Statue of Liberty as well. Yeah. That was very good. Um, but, yeah, beautiful city, yeah. man. To you, New Yorkers, I've, I've said it to V. If I had to live in America, New York would definitely be a state I would consider mm. settling in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, and then we flew down. Is it down? I have no idea. <laughs> we flew to San Francisco, which was our next stop. Um, and straight away, we realised that San Francisco had a lot of crackheads. Right? Yeah. Yeah. San Fran had a, a serious drug problem. Funny enough, guys, my sister actually told me this. Uh, my sister worked for a major airline over here, so she's been to San Francisco quite a lot. And she said to me, like, you know, Marco, when you go there, just kind of be careful, especially if you're riding the trams as well. Like, there's going to be a lot of crackheads, a lot of begging and stuff. So I thought, oh, yeah, 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 cool. So we got to the airport, we jumped in our cab, we went straight to our hotel. Yeah. And as soon as I jumped out, guys, I looked left, <laughs> I looked right, I looked up, I looked down, they were crackheads. Like, it had me moving kind of like, raw. You know what I'm trying to say, guys? Um, even to the point where we went to the KFC and there was an argument between a KFC employee and a crackhead because the KFC, the KFC, getting tongue twisted, employee was having his lunch break and a crackhead came in begging for money, but literally saliva and spit like went all over the guy's food. And... Yeah, fight broke out. Fight broke yeah. out, guys. That was our San Francisco introduction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then we went into town, I think Fisherman's Village or something like that, yeah. um, to try and book 
an excursion to go to Yosemite the next day. Yeah. And honestly, this is one of the funniest person that we encountered on our trip, I find. Because mm. we went in there and because we wanted the next day, it was quite abrupt. So he was trying to call around like, oh, um, do you have an excursion to Yosemite? You know, different um, companies. And they all were like, no, they're booked up, they're booked up. And we was like, oh, okay, well, it's understandable because it's short notice. It's short notice, And yeah. we were tiny to walk away. And honestly, no word of a lie, this was his reaction. I'm sorry about that, but I wish you luck. Yeah, guys. <laughs> it was so... You guys are so energetic. It's crazy. One thing you have to give the Americans, especially in the customer service sectors, is the energy is unbelievable. Like, the, the way the guy said it, right, it was some shit that I see in the Hollywood films. Like, I wish you luck. And it was like, bro, why are you so happy, bro? Yeah. Like, like, you couldn't even serve us. Like, you couldn't even... Uh, you got our get, money. Yeah, yeah, like, you know what I'm trying to say? But, um, God, you know, we love the energy. And, and, and believe it or not, we actually did end up Bobby. going on the yeah. trip. And the coach driver was yeah. hilarious. He was good. But guys, this dude was something else. This dude basically spoke. It was what a three hour, I believe, yeah. um, coach ride. And this three guy, hours there and three hours back, right? Three hours there, yeah. so six hours in total. And this guy spoke nearly every minute yeah. of it. Like guys, he will be on the um the tannoy system, right? He's driving and he'll be like, um guys, um if you look out the window Look at those trees. Look at the greenness. Look yeah. at the the plushness of those trees. Um, ain't it just beautiful? Yeah. Like literally, guys, he found anything, anything. Yeah. The rocks, trees. He spoke about um, NFL. He spoke about NBA. Um, yeah. Just, yeah. And not only that, it's like when we thought we had, you know, a moment of silence just to know. Mm. Like, relax and stuff. He'll start again. It's like, oh, are you serious? Yeah, this guy didn't want no one to sleep, no one to rest. <laughs> but at the same time, I loved it. The UK, we have a lot of good um, attractions. Uh, we have a lot of beautiful things over here. But sometimes I feel that we're very miserable in London. I know some Londoners may disagree with me. But sometimes I feel like the city does have a grey overtone. So... When I go to somewhere like that and people are bubbly, and, and for those of you that are on the channel know that I'm a, I'm a very bubbly guy. I just loved it. I loved the energy. I love the American energy and I love the American experience. So, yeah, yeah, man, thumbs up for that. And San Francisco really showed us that. So, um, yeah. Beautiful yeah. city as well. We'd love to go back. I don't think we spent a enough time there because no. there were like a lot of hills and a lot of places that yeah. when we were on the um tour coach was like oh that would be nice to get off and see or oh, that would be nice to see mm. um and we just didn't have enough time and the golden gate bridge as well when we tried to go um across it was so cloudy that honestly you couldn't see anything yeah yeah there was like a fog passing through san francisco guys so um yeah the golden Gate Bridge was a no-no. We was on a tour bus trying to take our pictures, but it was a, a no-no. Yeah. We also uh, couldn't book a um, tour to go see um, Alcatraz yeah. uh, prison as well. Um, that was because it was all booked up. So for those of you that don't live um, in San Francisco and want to visit, I would recommend trying to book a lot of the excursions before you get out yeah. there. Um, so you're not like us trying to run around like headless chickens trying to sort mm -hmm. things out. Yeah, Especially Alcatraz, I think they said that usually it's booked up two weeks in advance. So if you know that you're going there, just try and book the excursion. As early as yeah, possible. As early as possible, yeah. 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 And then, guys, we flew to LA. And LA is when Marco shows that he can't drive. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll get back to that. How do you find LA, babe? Um, LA was good. I actually liked LA, another very beautiful city as well, to be honest. Um, I was taken aback at the sheer size of the road. Mm. Like, the roads were massive. And I found, like, to get to basic places, you have to jump on the highway quite a lot. Yeah. Which, obviously, in the UK... Well, I can't talk for other UK cities, so some cities are like that. But for London... Um, we only really jump on the motorway if you're really going to another city. But for with LA, it was like just to go from one park to another, mm -hmm. you're jumping on the highway, and it, it was it, it felt kind of weird to me. But 
I liked it, man. Oh, yeah. I liked it. And like going from one place to another, it's like 19 miles is normal. 20 miles. Yeah, is it's normal. normal. And it's just like over here, three miles, and we're like, oh, kind of long. It's long, yeah. yeah no, so, it's true. Yeah, it's everything's true. so spread out there. Massive. Um, and my first encounter with LA actually wasn't too great because we landed in the morning. So we mm. went to go and get breakfast and stuff, right? Um, had our breakfast, everything. And I know American culture is very tip based, which yeah. is completely different to the UK. When the bill came out, there was this thing where you tip like uh, 8%, 10%, 15%, 20%, right? That was the maximum, 20%, and then like other amount or whatever. So I ticked the 20%. Pay the um, lady the money, everything, and here's me thinking, oh yeah, I take the highest, um, so she's gonna come and say thank you or whatever. Literally, guys, the girl took the money. Her face looked screwed up, like I did something wrong. Yeah. Um, and just went to the back, and it was just like, what? But you know, think, thinking about what happened there over a period of time, you know, it kind of reminded me of a point that my sister made. Um, and she said that she finds that a lot of Americans, especially when they hear the British accent, they a lot of them think that we are financially secure. A lot of yeah. them think that we're quite wealthy for some reason. I don't know if, you know, Americans only watch Downton Abbey or whatever, and they think that we're all living in castles and having crumpets and, you know, yeah. playing whatever all day. But that's literally not the case, guys. Mm. The only explanation i can give to that because when we walked in she was actually quite okay yeah. like she didn't have no attitude no nothing but by the time you know v gave the t i was in the toilet at the time mm. but you know i, I kind of felt the energy when i walked back out the energy was just completely off and and like v said she gave a 20 percent tip yeah that's a lot yeah. you know what i'm saying our bill was like what 100 and something it was 100, a lot 120 yeah. Or 110 or something like that. So that's what I'm saying, guys. So, But I, I think that she thought that we were, like, maybe a money couple. I don't yeah. know. And, guys, you know when you go on holiday, you dress up a bit more. You know what I'm trying to say? You look your best. Yeah. So I thought she maybe thought, eh, you tight yeah. bastards. And we were driving, what was it? A, a, a pickup truck. Yeah, like a Chevrolet, like a brand new Chevrolet pickup truck. Yeah, so, so I, I don't think know. she maybe created an image, you know, <laughs> in, in her mind. But anyway, we continue. Yeah, so what else did we do? We went to go see the Hollywood sign, which was pretty cool. Awesome. Even driving up mm. to go see it was like... Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. We went to shopping outlets out there as well. Oh my God, guys. You can get so much good deals in America. It's crazy. Yeah. And all these like Tommy um, and all of that, like over here is seen as such a high-end sort of brand. Mm. Whereas over there, it's like... Oh my god, you will get this for so cheap that it just seems like casual. Casual, clothes. yeah. Because you know I mean? Tommy over here can can get expensive, yeah. yeah. But over there, we were getting like Tommy tops for like forty dollars and, yeah. and stuff like that. Like it was it was crazy. Very affordable. Um, whereas over here, they'll try to sell some shit like that for like seventy pound, eighty pound, easy. Um, but yeah, man. And then to the story of how I crashed. So guys, I'm gonna take it all the way back to the beginning of LA. So we came out <laughs> the airport grab the car right so we got a chevrolet pickup truck cool the dudes in there were cool as well like when i was driving out like there was a black dude there and he was like oh he's like you from the uk <laughs> and i was like yeah 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 he's like i love the uk man i was like yeah yeah, yeah. he was like um top boy top boy <laughs> like he obviously watched his top boy on netflix if you ain't watched it guys check it out man um and uh, yeah so we was bantering whatever cool so i left and what he had to show me, actually, guys, sorry, I have to backtrack again. Sorry for my bad storytelling. <laughs> um, one thing you guys do different in America is that in, in the UK, in our vehicles, our gear shifting is in the center console. Yeah. But you guys actually have, like, a lever. Not, not all your cars, yeah, they have a lever where it's, like, that's why, you know when you watch the American films, when you guys pull up, I've always wondered, like, oh, why yeah, do they do, oh, and then they do something, like, yeah, yeah. what are they doing? Like, yeah, yeah. why are they fiddling with the um, indicator stick? Yeah, that's but, but, yeah, they're, they're gear shift sticks behind oh. the wheel. So I never knew all that, so he had to, like, school me on all of that. And in the trucks, a lot of the trucks, there's a button for the handbrake. It's not a physical handbrake. Right, yeah. The newer oh, trucks, the park, I'm guessing. At the park. That's the park, yeah. 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 So the, the newer trucks, anyway, I know the older trucks probably do. So anyway, he schooled me on all of that. So 
that kind of put me in a nervous state. But true say, I believe I am a driver. I know I am. So I still went out. And um, it was fine. It was a bit weird. Because, guys, we drive on the left-hand side. They get driving the right. Mm -hmm. So it was a bit weird. Yeah. But obviously, I'll let V take it from there. <laughs> so when we were driving, right? Because I'm not a good driver, guys. Like, I can admit, it, put my hands up, everything. Mm. So when we were driving, I was like to him, oh, babe, I think your lane discipline is off. Like, I think you're more to this side, like, to mm. one side, right? And obviously, our truck was massive. It was wide. Yeah, yeah. it was wide. Could fit, so, like, three people in the yeah. front, four people, yeah. So he was like, no, 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 I know what I'm doing. I'm a driver. Um, It's not that. It's because this truck's bigger than the lane itself that's why I'm off whatever so I'm like okay cool well I'm not a driver so I can't be arguing with you know someone who drives for a living mm. so we're driving 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 um and this was our way up Beverly Hill you know to see the Hollywood sign right he turned the corner did you turn the corner no I was driving straight yeah oh that's even yeah. worse <laughs> he's driving straight and literally licked the side mirror into a coach, guys. Yeah, the side I clipped it. Yeah, it flew off. The onto shell, the side yeah, the shell, yeah. And you so, carry on. So I was kind of like, ah, oh, like for two reasons. Obviously, one, I was like, V was right. Damn. <laughs> and number two, I was thinking, I don't want to have to spend no mad peas. Yeah. And obviously, guys, I don't know how the insurance process works in America. Like, I don't know yeah. how you look do it. So obviously, it's, it's a whole new thing. So I hit. I was like, oh, damn, so I'm kind of shocked, guys, but I'm still driving because, you know, like, I'm still trying to understand like, what happened, like, what happened, like, I'm looking. But I realised, shit, I hit the coach or the bus, what you lot might say. Um, so then I, I pulled up onto a side road and I jumped out and I was, like, inspecting the side mirror. And as I was doing that, because I was a bit like, oh, God, fuck, like, I knew I had to go back. Mm. Like, V obviously, like, ran back. Yeah. And like to find the shell. And then what happened when you ran ran yeah, back? Yeah, I ran back to find the shell. I looked at the coach and the coach was fine. So the driver was like, Oh, were you the car that bumped into um this car, whatever? And I was like, Yeah, but then I went to the back to look at the damages then because there were no damages. damages yeah. I think he didn't have a leg to stand, stand on. on so yeah. yeah, it was more our, our car got damaged, yeah, yeah than his. Which is a better um, outcome. outcome, yeah, of course, yeah. Because yeah. literally, guys, his vehicle had no scratches. His vehicle, like, had nothing. Yeah. So there was nothing for him to claim anyway if he wanted to. Yeah. It's just our, our vehicle, so... Um, for the rest of that day, though... So it we ruined it. Yeah, it ruined yeah. it. Like, well, yeah, we went up to see the Hollywood sign, all of that. We carry on going. Um, but it was still in the back of our mind, like, ah. Oh, what's gonna happen with yeah you. and because we were only there for two whole days basically so we didn't want to waste our time going back mm. and then having to sort out the paperwork and stuff so we basically tried to clip the shell back, back on in, which we did yeah which we did and we brought sellotape as well <laughs> yeah. we had to buy sellotape guys and i had to buy sellotape and like or wind it around yeah but imagine this as well because a lot of it was motorway work so it was like driving fast, but still having a look at your wing mirror, mirror yeah. like staying on. So literally, guys, I was just always on the edge. But that kind of wrapped up the LA trip, to be honest with you, because yeah. I think, yeah, we went to eat at like some nice restaurant. We had, um, oh yeah, that's another thing I've got to ask you guys. What's your obsession, obsession with nachos? Not nachos, um, Cheetos. Mm. We found a lot of the restaurants we went to, they'll have like Cheeto breaded, chicken breasts and yeah. cheeto breaded this and it's like what you look, love cheetos man yeah cheeto yeah. everything cheeto everything yeah but we went to a restaurant we had like a cheeto um breaded burger and whatever and it was yeah. it was lovely and then the next day we were leaving so this was the moment of truth because yeah. obviously guys the car was damaged so you know i'm pulling in slow like, to the rental, to, company, to the rental yeah. place right thinking like oh these people are just gonna chat a hell of shit so anyway, I pulled in and the lady's like, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, taking all our details yeah. down. And she was like, yeah, 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 you're good to go. And I was like, oh, um, the wing mirror. I was like, the wing mirror is damaged. But guys, I'm saying it slow, like, oh, the wing mirror is damaged. <laughs> like, and she was like, you good. <laughs> you're insured. You're insured. You good. You good. Don't worry. You good. And I was like, okay. So guys, I was like, I'm no fool. She says, I'm good. I'm out. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, he skeeted so fast, guys, that 
he ended up leaving his bag in the car with my passport in it. With his passport in it. So we were getting on the coach and we said, Oh, do you have everything? You have your passport, you have this, you have that. And he's like, oh, I don't have my passport, my pouch in the car. Yeah. So we had to go back to get his um, um, bag. Bag, my pouch, yeah, to, to leave my passport in it. Um, because I didn't want no one to try to drop no mad bills on me. But I mean, they said it was cool. We didn't know our policy came with um, cover. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, all praise be, yeah, man. All praise be. And then we flew to the city of sin. <laughs> so what, what was your first impressions of Vegas? Um, my first impression was that it was hot. Vegas That's was very so hot. hot. Yeah. Compared to how it was in New York when I had to buy like jackets and stuff. Mm. And then flying down to Vegas where now the jackets are just yeah. not needed no more. Um, it was that. And on our plane, we had this lady who literally came off the plane, plane. Yeah, and sat this. and played the machine. The slot machines. Yeah. Even before you go through custom, even before you get out of the airport, there were like slot machines and everything there. And as soon as she got off, literally dropped her bag and was yeah. on one of those seats. Guys, like this lady, yeah, she moved like a cracker, guys. Like Crazy. everyone's just trying to get to where they're going yeah. to. And this lady just backed out her peas and she sat down and she looked comfortable and then she just started going at it. Yeah. And she was definitely a pro, guys. I didn't see her read no instructions. No. I didn't see her read nothing. I just see her straight away. <laughs> and like, okay, yeah. well, I guess it's, like they say, it's Vegas, isn't it? Everything yeah. goes, so who are we to, to judge, you know? So yeah, guys, so we jumped in a Uber, no, a Lyft, I believe. Yeah. It was a Lyft we jumped into. It was like this Oriental dude um, I think he was already fascinated that like, he was like a Blasian couple. couple. Yeah. So he was like really like friendly Bubbly or whatever. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bubbly. But guys, this guy, this dude's on the highway, guys. And he's showing us videos on his phone. <laughs> guys, like he's driving and he'll be like, yeah, look at this. Look, look, look. Yeah. And I'm like, what's wrong with this? And guys, you know, you don't want to be rude. Yeah. Because um, the guy was so friendly. But I wanted to say to him, my brother, my brother, my brother, my brother, like you need to... Focus Keep on the team because right. I don't want yeah. dead over here. Could you say I know you look healthcare is mad expensive? You're not like over here. We get that. We get free. that free healthcare. If you're broke, you're rich, whatever. You get looked after over there. I know needs yeah. to be right. So I was like, yeah, yeah, my brother, my brother. I didn't say it, but I wanted to say that, my brother. Yeah. We both just looked at each other like oh, this guy. God, we're and you know, die. it's true. <laughs> And you know you have to give the fake laugh, guys. Like, when he's showing off the car, the shit ain't even funny. Yeah, I don't know what he was showing. Like, what was it? I don't even know. I don't, I don't think it was in English as well. That's the thing. I don't even think the video was in English. But we have to be like, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, crazy. that's crazy. You know, like, the very... Generic. Generic turn. Like, yeah. that's mad. Oh, that's, wow. oh, wow. That's crazy, man. Yeah. Yeah, but um, he took us to our hotel, which was the Hard Rock cafe yeah hotel beautiful hotel as well um we got hit with like crazy builder why does las vegas do that it's like mm. resort fee um city tax city tax mm. i understand because obviously that's every hotel but what the hell is resort fee resort and fee, they're yeah. like oh um but the pools are down so you can't use the pools or anything like that so it's like so what am I paying the well, resorts I, for yeah. kind of thing? And we but, didn't have no all-inclusive or nothing, guys. So yeah. they weren't feeding us as well. So literally, they are just giving us a room. Yeah. Um, everything else that we got from the hotel, we had to pay for. So, mm. But I mean, money's got to be made. So, you know, yeah. people do what they have to do. So yeah, Vegas, what did we do? Vegas was we very... We a lot of buffets. So, yeah. Um, I, can't, I can't say the name. You'll see it. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we went there like twice. And then we went to a buffet in Bellasio. Something you know, that, like that. that With the fountain. fountain. And yeah. You always see it in a film yeah. when it comes to Vegas, yeah. So we went there. That buffet wasn't too great. Right. Was, the second one wasn't too great. It was okay. They're better than what we have over here, I think. Though. I mean, they're like triple the price. They're triple yeah. the price. But you know what I like, guys? Because obviously, I don't eat pork, innit? Yeah. And um, I know America's probably the same. But UK is very port-based culture. Like, British food is very port-based. But I find in, in America, it was like there was a lot of that pork option. Mm. But they still had my beef ribs. They still had other things as yeah. well. And that's what I liked. It was a perfect balance. Because over here, guys, there's only a handful of buffets I could really F with properly. Because yeah. most places are like, port this, port that, port this, port that, port this. So it's just like... 
yeah. yeah there's no point in going i'm gonna be stuck with like three dishes basically but um yeah man it was crazy like we would walk down the strip and like there'll be like women in like these crazy outfits yeah it's just a a nipple tassel, right? N nipple like, tassels, and they'll be like yeah. inviting guys. Yeah, they like, were grabbing men with women in yeah. their hands as well. Like, there was a couple who was walking together, and the girl was grabbing the guy, and it's just like, how freaking disrespectful that is that? Was that? Yeah, no, nah, it, it was, it was. Crazy. But the guy looked like he wanted to go, though. No, babe, the guy didn't. The guy, I think yeah. he looked like he wanted to go. <laughs> um, yeah, it was. And then there was the Magic Mike dudes across the road as well. So they were like with their good buddies and, and they were talking to the females. Yeah. And yeah, man. So Vegas was chilled. But I can tell Vegas is a location that you will have the true best time. The yeah. real, when you got that. Yeah. If you got that in Vegas, I think, yeah, it's over. It's over. You're coming back a different man. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? But what blew my mind is when I saw escort services being um, advertised. Oh shit! I didn't do that. I decided there was a bus going past us, and it said um, "straight to your room." What did it say again? It said something like "straight to your girl, straight to your room." It didn't mention anything to do with sex. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. but guys, yeah, it's that let's just be adults, isn't it? <laughs> if you're ordering it, just to your room, something gonna happen, and it blew my mind because I was like, "This truly is the city of sin," <laughs> like. But Vegas was probably our most humble city, I would say. Mm. Yeah. We didn't yeah. really get up to much in Vegas. Um, no, we but I think by that time, we? yeah, by that time, we were just over it, right? Yeah, I think we, we were ready to go back. home. It was like yeah. two weeks of travelling. It was a mm. lot of flying, a lot of getting used to different time zones. So we were just mm. like, oh, we did go. We went to um, the Antelope something. You know, the the... You know the background of Apple phones? Oh, yeah, the canyons. Canyon, yeah, we'll yeah, put a picture up because I actually have, we have pictures of this one, actually. The pictures we actually kept. But, yeah, um, but yeah, 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 the canyons. Oh, guys, they were beautiful. beautiful yeah. They, they were 100% beautiful. And that one was actually funny as well because the tour guide on that one was different. Like, he didn't talk as much because this was, it was very Chinese um, yeah, based. Nice. Yeah. yeah, like the, the guy was Chinese. Like, most of the people on the bus were like Chinese. Um, Asian, yeah. or Asian but I think it was Chinese because there was yeah. a point where he said he was Chinese and he was actually talking to them yeah. in his language I'm guessing okay you are Chinese as well and it was funny because when we were gonna arrive there he was like guys take everyone take out your phone what phone you got what phone you got yeah. and he was like you got Android he was like use this setting yeah, like this and you'll get the best picture yeah. and he's like you got iPhone he's like yeah look let me show you yeah. he's like use this and only, only take it with this setting. It's like, rah, bro. Yeah. But it was true, though, because you see that the light beam, you see the... Everything, uh, yeah. Yeah, crease of the sand or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, yeah. He was right. He was yeah, but it was just funny, though. <laughs> and yeah, that was really the end of our trip, to be honest with you yeah. guys. Um, what I loved about America, to wrap it up, I loved the enthusiasm. I loved the wide variety of things to do over there. Mm -hmm. I loved the food. Um, I just love the energy of the people. Mm. What I what I hated, um, tip based culture. I don't mind giving a tip, guys, but don't force us. If you smile at me, tip. If you're my transport and you take my bag out the boot, which you think a transport guy would do, tip. Food, tip, 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 tip. And after a while, it's like, damn. Like if you go America, like all my British um, people, if you go America, take at least three hundred pounds. In potential tip money because yeah, yeah. and um, yeah, no. yeah and we hate the way the pricing system works over there as well to just wrap it up quickly mm. it was just like any price that you see is not the price that you pay over here mm. like VAT is added any tax rates is added so the price that you see is the price that you pay Fair cool enough. you're getting a bargain you know you're getting a bargain that's good over there it's just like oh I might be getting a bargain but if I take it to the till I don't know what the tax rates in this city is, so yeah. it might add another 10%, 15%, so, yeah. God knows how many. And by the time that everything gets added up, it's like, oh, shoot. I didn't realise it was that expensive. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It's like, you think it's ten ninety nine, and then you go to the till, it's fourteen ninety nine. Yeah. But, I mean, <laughs> you take the good, you take the bad, and you just live. Yeah. Just live, man. But, guys, um, yeah, man, shout out to everybody. 
Thank you for watching this video, guys. We appreciate it. Do you live in America? You know, what do you think of our experiences, man? Are there anything in those cities that we didn't mention that we should have done? Because I'm, def I'm definitely going to go back. Mm. Without a doubt, I did love America. Um, and are any of you thinking of going to America? Mm. If so, what states are you planning to go to? What have you got planned, man? Let us know down below, guys, man. Stay blessed. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you comment. And we'll see you on the next one. We're out. Bye.